Um, in Birmingham, Birmingham adopted character education as part of its uh, overall goals for the district, and that was years back. And as they as they started, they adopted it and they started implementing it. They came up with core values for the district. So, they um, made posters, brought them to the schools, and I remember when it was uh, probably about seven or eight years ago, we got a poster from the district and said, these are our core values for our school, for the school district. So we put the poster up and that was that. And then it started saying, no, you've got to start teaching that. We're like, teachers were like, I have to start teaching. This is just another part, another thing adding to my curriculum that I have to teach that I don't have time to teach and really it should be taught at home. And so it took time to start building and realizing why do we need to do this and, and, and so we um, had to find sources of uh, uh, resources for us to help us guide us in, in teaching this because it was it wasn't something totally new that we've never taught as part of our curriculum really some teachers taught character but it wasn't it wasn't really a school-wide thing and so we um, adopting um, CEP's 11 principles became a focal point to, uh, to guide us in our, on, our, on, our, on our way to build this program in our school. And as we, we looked at those 11 principles, we, we were able to assess, do we really teach character? And how do we do that? And we, we discovered in some places we were doing awesome already. We had things put in place that we were teaching character, no, pro no problem, but the other things we needed to work on. So CEP, provided those 11 uh, principles to help guide us on our way and we're, we were able to get, keep moving forward following those 11 principles.